the rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison, or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? Kira, what are you doing? Geralt! <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage, he says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. You've gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Vserad, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Alright, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyle once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um. I suppose I should warn you, it might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later, maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the elven mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. Are they hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. 
So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Hmm? Thank you.